Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today we're going to take a look at Spring MVC request mappings. What I have here is a, a project that I have from my Spring Core course, and I'm going to show you a couple things with the request mappings an annotations. So in my product controller, you can see that I have request mappings for the CRUD operations for slash product slash list for the first one. So all my, my request mappings start with slash product. So this is for a products controller. They all are open to all, all requests except for the method post. So this one's actually res restricted down on line 49 to the request method post. Otherwise, the HTTP method doesn't matter to these. Any of them will be accepted to these URLs. The actual request mapping, you can actually make it additive and run it at the class level annotation. So I'm going to show you that in the, in the customer controller. So here at the class level, I've annotated it with slash customer. Now this is almost the exact same controller, but rather than the products, we're dealing with customers. And this time you can see on the individual methods, I've not put in the customer, but Spring is going to concatenate those two together for the URL mapping. So it will take the class level request mapping and also append the URL to the method level. So for my list customers method, that would work for either slash customer slash list or slash customer slash or the root of the customer URL. The same with the show customer that would actually get mapped to slash customer slash show and the ID value. So let's contrast that with the product controller show show value. So we can see in the product controller, I have slash product slash show and I've actually repeated product all the way across my controllers. So the way I like to do the Spring MVC controllers is like my customers. It reduces a little redundant code, so if I ever want to change the customer URL mapping, I have to change it in one spot, not on multiple request methods. It's a pretty handy way to map out your controllers.